This is Twit. This week there was huge news. We all woke, woke up this week to find out that Jeff Bezos and Amazon had bought Whole Foods for over $13 billion. We were wondering if he was dabbling in retail. They opened a bookstore. They opened this very interesting, um, I guess, cashier list store for their uh, grocery the, store. the Go Store, the which Go uses store. cameras. You just grab things off the shelf. Right. So you don't need to scan barcodes even. And people were wondering, hey, is this, you know, these stores, is he just experimenting or is this actually a takeover plan? This is real business. Peter, when you saw this announcement, what did you think? I mean, it was a bold move, right? Because uh, like you said, we've seen Amazon make these sort of tentative steps into retail. And um, I, I think a lot of us thought that their plan would be to roll out, you know, these Amazon stores like the, uh, um, you know, the bookstores and things like that and start to do this in more, um, at a slower pace. I right. mean, they've dived right in with Whole Foods. I think uh, the speculation is that, and I tend to agree with, is that this gives them a big footprint for being able to do um, groceries, right? For doing the rollout, but also to be able to um, uh, do uh, add logistics to um, all these very it's affluent like a neighborhoods. It's like mile play in a yeah, way. Yeah, exactly. Because now they have hundreds of stores that are within... It's, I don't know what percentage of the population lives within driving distance of a Whole Foods. Let's I, call it 30 I miles. mean, there's 431 Whole Foods yeah. um, in the U.S. Mm. and abroad, and very few are overseas. So it's mainly in the U.S. But these are, are um, very, uh, you know, these are these are mainly in affluent neighborhoods, mm -hmm. um, which reach out to rich customers. Right. But it's also valuable real estate in and of itself. And if right. they wanted to launch 431 logistics centers... How long would that take? I mean, if It would take launched, years and cost if they them... they two or three a month, it would take... Forever. Yeah. So it, they, they, they're diving right in. Brian, when you look at this and you see Instacart, which is extremely popular here in the Bay Area and a number of mm -hmm. other places, Instacart has a multi-year deal. Right. Instacart um, is loved, mm -hmm. and they, they seem to have figured something out. Um, right. It was kind of terrible in the beginning. They got everything wrong. Over time, the shoppers have gotten better. Is this the end of Instacart? Is there any way Instacart comes out of this ahead in your mind. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and it's because if you look at uh, in Florida, right, Universal Studios had a deal <clears> with Marvel. They had Marvel's right. Islands of Adventure. Then uh, Disney goes and buys Marvel. Right. But they can't put Marvel rides in Disney World. Oh. So you go to Disney World in Florida and you can do everything but Avengers, Iron Man, superhero stuff. You have to go to Universal for that because they have a multi-year deal. Right. So that's a weird situation, right? But then it gives them the opportunity, Instacart, to go to everybody who isn't Amazon and Whole Foods and lock mm. them all up. Right. So I think that lights a fire under everybody else to start working with Instacart and it gives them a big out to be whatever, let's say Amazon ends up, Whole Foods ends up 50% of the market, 50% of the, the rest, the other 50% is Instacart. Yes, yeah, that was my hot take on it as well, which is I think Instacart just got twice as valuable. Correct. Now somebody has to buy them, Target, Walmart, Walmart yeah. obviously. What do you think, Dave? So this is a classic all ships rise with the tide. Yeah. Uh, for a while, I was the in-house inventor at Radio Shack. Right. And there were some rumors that Amazon would use Radio Shack stores while they were going through bankruptcy as distribution centers. Mm. Now, if you think about what Whole Foods stores are like today, they're congested, they're packed with merchandise, packed with product. So I think this is only going to be part of Amazon's fresh program. 